Many people across Scotland are responding to this difficult period by showing a sense of community and solidarity. I've already mentioned the Scotland Cares campaign, uh, as well as enabling medical students and former health staff to help the NHS. It also encourages people to help their communities. And I can confirm that in just four hours this morning, since we formally launched the Scotland Cares campaign, we have had uh, 10,000 people uh, registering their interest in volunteering through one of the three key strands, former NHS workers, the Community Reserve Volunteer Network that will be coordinated by the Red Cross, and uh, the expressions of interest for volunteering through existing organisations uh, through Volunteer Scotland. Uh, I want to thank each and every person who has registered an interest. If there are those out there who still wish to do so, then readyscotland.org is the place to go. Um, I can also confirm that at the end of the first uh, weekend of the lockdown measures being in operation, Police Scotland have indicated that they have served just 25 fixed penalty notices uh, for breaching those regulations. And I think those figures um, do say something quite important and quite profound. They give us an indication, as I always expected would be the case, that the vast majority of people are doing the right thing to protect themselves and to protect their wider community. People are staying at home, except for the very specific purposes such as exercise or buying essential supplies. That needs to continue for a good while longer. And I know that won't be easy for people, but it is vital. Uh, by staying at home, we can all help to slow the spread of this virus. We will all help the National Health Service to cope and we will ultimately save lives. So thank you to everyone across the country who is helping us with those objectives.